relaxing my hair again um, the last time I relaxed my hair was about two and a half to three three weeks ago but I did cut it down so it's a little bit shorter but because I cut it down um, you can feel more texture at the root now you can see more texture so I want to kind of have that lay down a little bit better so the relaxer I'm going to use is is cream of nature and this isn't the one that I normally get but I picked it up accidentally the only difference is it's um, a plex strengthening relaxer system so when I open up the box right I mix the activator with the cream relaxer I'll show you so there's cream relaxer in here and there was activator in hair in here and then I just poured it into the cream relaxer and then I just mixed it until it was all blended it was smooth smooth and creamy they also included it's their plex strength strengthening treatment and it's something that you use before the neutralizer so it's a pre neutralizer pre neutralizer treatment and it looks like a serum right and you're instructed to um, put this onto your hair generously after rinsing out all of the relaxer it's supposed to prevent breakage after your relaxer and you're supposed to see the difference in your hair and how healthy it is after um, after relaxing it so I'm gonna try it out to see if I like it if I do like it I'll continue um, I'll continue using this relaxer if not I'll just go to do I'll go back to the regular cream of nature relaxer okay so before I start I need to base my hair so I'm going to be using the olive oil scalp protector and this is especially important for me because my hair isn't my scalp is pretty clean and I probably washed it a couple days ago so I don't want to burn or anything like that but the cream of nature relaxers are pretty sensitive um, are pretty mild I mean and good for sensitive scalp so I don't think I'll have that issue I can't remember the last time I, I've even burnt my scalp anyway so uh, that shouldn't be a problem so I'm just going to base around my hairline and my ears my hairline especially because my trouble areas are like right here like right here is like super like thin so I, I don't want to over process or like go crazy on the relaxer on that area I just I still want to keep it kind of protected I don't know if that makes if this does make a difference or if that makes sense and to be honest I don't even know if I'm gonna do all over here I'm just gonna focus on the back of the sides really but I'm still gonna put on the scalp protector anyway it doesn't hurt and I'm really I'm just preparing for um, my friend's birthday party but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna wear my short hair but um, I might put on a wig later but I just want to um, relax it and style it and see if I'm really feeling it um, and the reason I say that is because when I go out it's kind of hard for me to keep up my short hair because like sometimes you know we sweat and you know whatever style we put in place sometimes tends to collapse so I'm gonna see if, if I can just style it in a way um, to where it'll to where I think like I won't sweat it out or if I do sweat it out it won't look as bad I don't know I'm just gonna just gauge it and see if this will work the relaxer system does come with gloves but I always forget to use it and I usually use it when I I usually use their gloves when I'm coloring my hair because I don't usually because I don't want to stain my nails and I usually have my nails done I don't have my nails done these days because I don't know I think it's like fungus on my nails it is fungus on my nails it's kind of embarrassing but it's whatever but so I'm going to be just holding off on fake nails for now and I'm going to try to grow up my real nails and wear my wear my nails natural because I don't want that to ever happen again it's so ugly it's so unattractive and this is because I had my fake nails on for such a long time and uh, I use um I wash the dishes a lot you know I'm always in water so the water got trapped underneath my nails and it just sat there and it just kind of just yeah you know you know the rest so anyways no more fake nails for me for now I'm gonna try to grow up my natural hair but yeah I'm just pasting pasting slapping on the relaxer on the back of my head especially because back there is it's getting pretty rough and this brush helps like you know it helps place the relaxer on so quickly and this is like something that like you should have 
with you if you have short relaxed hair because it's good for dyeing your hair and relaxing your hair if you haven't seen my video on all the styling tools you need for your short hair check it out this is definitely one of them and a lot of you ask how often I relax my hair so I'm putting myself on a routine a regimen where I relax my hair every eight weeks my whole entire head every eight weeks but in between that eight weeks I'll do a partial relaxer on the back at the sides because they because my hair is shorter um, you do see the new growth a lot faster and it's just not it just doesn't look as neat if it's not touched up sooner than eight weeks but you know everyone's hair grows at a different pace so I don't think you have to go by what I do but that's this is just what I do so kind of just gauge yourself um, don't relax it if you don't need to try to see if you can just mold it like do a good mold and see if you can wrap it nice and flat before you attempting to relax it again every time I do a partial relaxer I'm so tempted to just do the whole thing I don't even know if this is considered a partial relaxer. This is like a three quarter relaxer. And I'm so tempted to do the whole thing, but I really don't need to. I'm just gonna do the front a little. And I'm just doing it last because, you know, I don't want it to process as long as the rest. So I'll do the front so it's sleek. So now that everything's in place, I'm just gonna take my fine tooth comb and comb everything through. So this relaxer, the Plex system, definitely burns faster than the other one, the original one. I don't, okay, not the original one, but the original of the Argan Oil line. And I don't feel any waves or anything like that. Any, not waves, but you know, new growth. So I'm just gonna go and wash out my, wash out my hair with the neutralizing shampoo. But before that, I'm going to um, use their Step 3 Plex treatment to see if that really makes a difference. And then I'll neutralize my hair. And I'm going to come back and um, finish up the style. So I'm going to mold for you. The foaming mousse I'm going to use is from Lata Body. So this is a mousse that, I'm, that I've been using lately. If you want to purchase it, you can use the link that I left in the description box. Hello. and the reason I like this mousse is because the scent the slip and it gives a nice firm hold especially if you're doing you know like DIY finger waves it gives a nice hold okay so I'm doing a basic mold today It's super easy. It's easier to wrap your hair when it is shorter. So I'm using the Rapid Juniors and I've come to realize that I prefer the Rapid Junior strips over the Mega Wrap strips. Before I was pretty indifferent, like I didn't care which one, but I like the smaller ones because you can just add more if you need or if you just, if you just need the sides in the back, fine. But if you need, you know, just a little bit more of a wrap, you can just, you can just kind of just add on. And it just feels like it gives it like a tighter wrap. 
as well. So when, but when these are done, I have mega mega wrap chips. I'll just use them for sure. And thank God I have a hooded dryer. So I'm gonna go under the hooded dryer because my hair is relaxed. Um, just relax. It's gonna take. 20 25 minutes to get it bone bone dry especially if I put on the high heat so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna style my hair okay so my hair is fully dried completely dried I went under the dryer for about 20 25 minutes and I did go outside I went on the road I went to winners um, for about 45 minutes and I came back um, I had to rush out really quick um, to get a gift for my friend's baby she's having a baby shower but anyway, so we're gonna style my hair now, and I'm gonna use either the pencil flat iron from the red brand or the half inch flat iron. I believe it's a half inch. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you the two. So this is the pencil flat iron. So this is like their smallest plate, their skinniest plate, perfect for short hairs. But this one is deadly. <laughs> when I say deadly, I say that because it doesn't have any temperature control and it gets really hot so it can burn your hair so you kind of have to work with it really fast you don't want to leave it on your hair for a long period of time so um, I might be using that maybe for the sides and the back if I even go that low and I've always had this one this is a half inch flat iron from the red brand I believe this one only goes up to I want to say four I want to say 400 but I'm not too sure but this one is not too too hot like it's like it's not gonna burn your hair like it's not that hot well I'll start off with this one and if this one can do my entire head or as much as I'll be curling then I'll just use this one I'm just gonna use some bio silk just to coat my hair this is gonna act as a heat protector And I'm just gonna loosen up my hair a bit with the tail comb because I don't want it to be so stiff. So I don't have to do, I don't need to do much styling because you know, it's wrapped, it's pretty low. So I'm just gonna start at the side here. So the parts that are a little bit too shorter to pick up, I'm just gonna use the tail comb and just lift it. And, and this is called a lift method. So I'm just gonna lift it and place it and drop it into the plate and just curl it. I'm switching over to the pencil flat iron. I'm just trying to see, I'm gonna see if it's gonna help. I'm pretty sure it will, if, if it's gonna help with the shorter pieces on the side here. Just to show you guys how it works. So it definitely picks up the little small here, the little short ones, but you don't want to keep it on your hair for too long because it gets really hot and it can burn your hair.
now that I've curled everything, the only thing I need to do now is take a wide tooth comb and just really finish styling it, smoothing it out, taking out any, you know, tightly, like tight curls. So, or yeah, so I'm just, just gonna take out any tight curls. Not really take it out, but just smooth it out a little bit so it doesn't look so, so neat. I obviously don't have a white tooth comb in my hand, but if you don't have one, another alternative is to do what I'm doing right now. So I'm just, I'm just, um, just gliding it through my hair, the tail comb. Pretty much this is how I style my hair, like when it's at this length. So I'm just gonna finish it off. I don't have much to do. I'm gonna add some sheen to it, you know, put on some accessories, put on some, put on my face, and see how you know I'm liking my look. If I'm gonna rock it tonight. So I'll see you guys in one second. <laughs> These earrings I got from Forever 21 before, right before they closed down. So I got them for about $2. Anyway, they're like rhinestone hoops. Uh, my lip gloss I'm wearing, because a lot of you ask me about my lip color, but I think I do the same thing every day. I just paired the Honeymoon from NYX. So it's this one here. So it's the NYX lingerie gloss in Honeymoon. And I just paired it with of clear gloss I make clear gloss I always get from the beauty supply store so I do the same thing all the time I just use a nude or natural pink lip gloss or even if it's a lipstick any color that I like that's like nice and natural and I mix it with a clear gloss and like that's a trick sometimes I use a, a brown lip liner sometimes I don't right now I'm not but anyways yes so to finish up my hair what I did was I added some edge control um, lightly to the hairline and I also put a spray gloss, like a laminate gloss, similar to like a sheen spray, just to seal the deal. And if I do wear my hair out tonight, I'm going to need some spritz or some free spray to keep it in place because I don't want to sweat it out and then it, it just looks limp, you know, halfway through the party. So I think I'm going to rock it. It looks pretty cute. It looks grown, you know, big old man, you know. So uh, I might just yeah. rock it and but anyway that is it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any suggestions um, about what you guys want to see for another video if I'm able to do it um, just leave them below and you know I'll add them to my list and I'll I'll do videos that you guys suggest thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video bye